I believe within this decade, there's going to become a point where the dollar goes. When it does, it's going to affect not only this country and the economy, but every other country around the world that we've forced at the barrel of a gun. They're going to suffer too. And guess who's going to be the only ones left that's going to rise when the dollar falls? It's a given. The dollar falls out of the IMF basket. Boom. China's there. Who is every country that's going to go diving to when the U.S. falls? China. And old China will crack the whip. Any little country next to a country that isn't jumping right to their knees, they'll crush them. China is the dragon. They're going to unleash you on this globe. They are the nihilist. They're the ones chosen for this. And they're going to do it because they have to feed their people. And it's sad because they're lying to their people, other higher-up powers around the globe, lying to us and all the other countries, and they've got us fighting each other. No one ever wants to do away with the corruption of the time. Y'all want to talk establishment, this and that. You want to look at a whole stage full of Republicans and Democrats and say, oh, the establishment's running everything. Okay, so which guys on the stage here are part of the establishment and which ones are not? Go ahead, I'll wait. He's going to have a hard time. Explaining to me that all these goons out there that are all Masons and Jesuits aren't part of the same damn club. George Carlin said it's one big club and you and I ain't in it. You know, we were supposed to be different and be free, you know? Free is the key thing, man. Freedom. Free to do a lot of things. Unfortunately, you carry the weight of all this stuff on you. You cannot let it go once you figure out the truth. And life changes. Like Fox said, I wish we could go back to when we played as kids. Things change. And that's the way it is. What I see happening here on this world stage between these powers is really becoming just an obvious puppet show. I know it's going to be harder for others out there that are just awakening uh, to see that, but that's to be expected. Until you start to see the layers of this, when you see the Masonic levels and the Jesuit levels and all this other stuff, and the rankings and these secret groups and how it's global, and it's all laced up behind the curtain and all these deals, and that war is profit, and that they can't do it unless countries are running against one another, and that they've controlled both sides of every major war, and that's the facts. Going back to World War One. World War II, we explained it before, Rothschilds, The Shield, what Mayor Amschild did, his five sons, trained them, sent them into all these different countries, France, Germany, all these different ones, Spain, funding those sides. So when it came down to war, guess what? They were in control. You you take that and expand onto that globally. And fast forward. Maybe some of you forgot. Maybe you never were taught. Maybe you never realized who funded Mao in China. Who funded the Bolshevik Revolution in Russia? China has the mentality with its leadership to what a new world order wants. China has no problem with tracking people like cattle and treating them like such if they don't have it their way. This goes against all the freedoms you know as, as being an American. Is they're going to track every single thing on the planet, including you. That's the plan. And this is exactly what the New World Order wants, so I can see this is why they're going to hand it off to them. Get ready. You can never say no one ever warned you. You live throughout this next decade, this is where they're taking it. You wonder what they talked about in these Bilderberg meetings and all these plans for big war and what's going to happen? And they're running us against one another here on this world stage, and it's going to get bad. Okay? But when it comes to this blockchain technology, I suggest you do your research and you get hip to what it is. And you want to you wanna ignore it turn a cheek? Your choice. And when another country buys it all, well then you are their debt. And then they own you. That's how that works. Well, if you want to talk about China, all the, the land they've bought and own legally, that all these other Chinese investors and stuff, and this is nothing against Chinese people. I love my people global. Russians, Chinese, Mexicans, Canadians, all the same, okay? It's the governments that have sold us out that's the issue. And that brainwash masses to fight and kill one another while they sit back and sip champagne behind the curtain. You see? Do you see? Because that's the same old song and dance it's always been and will continue to be. Turn a cheek to it if you don't want to hear it. If you're in love with one of these candidates out here running, just fall back asleep. You ain't never gonna figure it out then. It's a puppet show. It's why they're all Mason. It's why they're all Jesuits. And you're not. This is theatrics for all of us on this world stage. I think the, the fallen ones are here. I think this is where they're getting the technologies. I think this is who they worship. I think all the rest is a puppet show for the rest of the masses. Okay, so you have to realize we're locked here with them. They are locked here too. They landed on Mount Hermon. They came into the women that were on this planet and they bore giants. And they got so crazy, they had to flood this place out, if you forgot. And then they were still here when the waters recited. Fallen ones, you know, 
Like Zeus and his offspring, like Apollo, you know, the one that's all over Trump's walls in the 66 4 penthouse. Not a picture of Yeshua in there, but yet Apollo on the table, Apollo on the wall, the picture, and Apollo and Zeus and the whole pantheon of the fallen ones on the ceiling above. No, it's not a lie. Do your damn research and keep making excuses if you want. So where's this going? I see a shift. Dollar falls, this country's done. It's the country we live in. It's not going to be a good thing. Hope you have a plan. Lights out plan, survival plan has been the best thing that I can think of and to prepare for all the way up to this point. I think where we're going though here economically and politically, it's a huge puppet show out here, man. It gets people lost. They get lost in the, in the, in the, in the, the smoke and mirrors. That social credit thing that they got going in China? Yeah. That's, that's all based on facial recognition and a massive surveillance system that they have throughout all the big cities and everybody, it, it tracks everything they do. I mean, if you go to the store and you buy a bottle of whiskey, according to their algorithms, that puts you on a lower social scale as to the people that don't buy whiskey and it automatically catches you at the liquor store buying that whiskey and then it drops your social credit. It's insane there. It's, right. it's crazy. All the street lights, the all the store surveillance, all everything's tied into one big system. China is the mold on how they want to run this world. Do you understand me? It has checked its people into submission and will do anything. It has an emperor for life now. They are planning to track everything across the globe. Everything. They, they put this stuff in the movie. Embedded it. What if the lights went out and then China, the dragon, rose to power because their currency is the next in the IMF basket. It's been designed this way, and it's backed by gold. Backed by gold. They want gold, not dollars. And all the treasuries they bought, they look at it like we owe them. All of our debt, when they buy our debt, we're basically being sold off to China. Do you understand that? Well, they're playing this world trade crap out here. Why would China have ever, at that point, been buying all of our debt? I guess the end point here is I want you to realize this. If anything ever happens to the United States out here on this world stage, you have Russia left over there as the last major Christian country on the planet. As everyone over here is scrambling to survive, Russia is now the last Christian country of that size on the planet. And they will be surrounded by non-believers completely surrounded by non-believers with no Christian ally on the face of the globe to help them. Do you see where this is pivoting toward? I hope so, ladies and gentlemen, because this is why generals are coming out and they're warning that this is going to drag out a 15-year war. A long, drawn-out war. And what they're doing is while this is all getting drawn out, the front here in America, I feel like the distractions are galore. Let's keep those things in mind. The distractions are non-stop. The last safe spreading of Christianity in, in America is, is in our homes. You're not hearing it in school. So many people are distracted from the actual history, the stuff that you're talking about. They're not getting that in school. They're you know, uh, the mainstream media news. They're either. not allowed to say God in school anymore. It starts in your home. Who's the fallen ones? Michael did battle with the dragon, with the fallen one, Lucifer. He cast them down. Here, they landed on Mount Herman, do you understand me? And they are locked here in Sirwood. This is why Nimrod built the Tower of Baal. Try to penetrate it to go against God's will. When you have a bunch of demons running around this place, you wonder why we're locked here. What is the teachings? What is the Masonic teachings of the Scottish Rite? What do they teach? The book is called The Morals and Dogma. Google it right now. They teach that in the pantheon of angels, Lucifer wasn't caught in a battle and cast here. They teach he made the choice to come here as a sacrifice. That he said he knew the path back, that he would do it, and when he returned, he would be greater than all. This is how they teach it. Do you understand? The fallen ones. And the exact same thing was echoed in that movie Noah. That they came here as a sacrifice for us. Really? What are you doing for us? Besides controlling us and enslaving us. You wonder who their God is. As it states right there out of your good book, the God of this world is the one that they locked here. It is the one that they trust written on your dollar. It is not Yeshua. It is not Yahweh. It is not the Most High. It is not the Most High. It is of a carnal creation of what they worship. We are of flesh. 
they can sit here in their lab and they can try to create the flesh all they want. Now, to create souls, this is a whole nother ball game where I ask the question, are they stealing them? Keep making excuses. It's all some of you do. That ain't gonna save you.